chubby chipmunk cheeks, cozy kangaroo pouches, hairy bee legs, stylish cargo jorts. Storage is important for so many animals, whether it's a safe place for their young, a snack for later, or just a nice ball of dung. So what if I told you there was an animal that could survive for weeks without food or water in the scorching desert, all thanks to one ingenious storage solution? That's right, today we're going to be talking about camels and their amazing humps. Camels are some of the most durable animals out there, which makes sense because scientists think that their ancestors migrated from North America through the harsh Arctic tundra, eventually making their way to the desert regions where they live now. There are three types of camels, the dromedary, which has one hump, and the Bactrian and wild camel, which have two. Thanks to their stamina, strength, intelligence, and speed, dromedaries and Bactrians, known by some as the ships of the desert, have sustained generations of tribes and traders with their meat, milk, and mileage. But possibly the toughest species out there doesn't interact with humans much at all. The rare wild camels found in regions of China and Mongolia have not only been known to drink salt water, but due to their unfortunate proximity to China's Lop Nur testing site, they've somehow withstood more than 40 nuclear weapons tests. So what makes camels so robust? Well, first of all, they're huge, almost two meters tall at shoulder height. And one of the things you might think you know about camels is that their humps store water. Looking at you, hydration backpack brand guy. But actually, it's fat. And it's some pretty fascinating stuff, which we'll talk about in a minute. But what about that water? Well, the hump helps, but a camel's real hydration secret has to do with its unique blood. Unlike our round, disc-shaped red blood cells, most of a camel's red blood cells are flexible ovals, similar to reptiles. For us, dehydration increases our risk for blood clots, but a camel's blood still flows easily when thickened by dehydration. When that thirsty camel finally gets a drink though, these cells can expand to almost two and a half times their original size. That means after losing about half its body weight and moisture, a camel can chug 100 liters in under 10 minutes, rehydrating faster than any other mammal. But back to fuel. Let's talk about the junk in that trunk. Almost all of the fat in a camel's body is concentrated in its hump, which can make up roughly 10% of its body weight, storing about 35 kilograms at a time. That's about the same weight as a baby camel. Camel fat is a miraculous and highly nutritious substance packed with vitamins and minerals like an ever-present superfood smoothie. Some of its most powerful ingredients include palmitic, stearic, and oleic acids. These fatty acids help a camel store energy in a crazy efficient way and may protect the myelin coating on their neurons. So these fatty acids could be responsible for some of their cognitive superpowers, like their awesome spatial and social memory. In fact, they've been said to possess the IQ of an eight-year-old child. For them, this essential nutrient backpack helps them not just survive, but thrive during long distance travel in harsh conditions. Withstanding a huge range of temperature is no sweat for a camel, up to 40 degrees of searing heat and down to 40 degrees negative Celsius in cold desert winters. And by no sweat, I mean strategic sweat. Camels don't sweat nearly as much as other animals, but when they do, it's in specific patterns and cycles to help them conserve moisture. But their trusty hump helps them with thermoregulation too. You and I have fat all over our bodies, meaning we're great at trapping our body heat with insulation. But because a camel's fat is all in one place, it leaves the muscles on the rest of the body basically exposed, helping the animal cool down much more quickly. And when it gets too cold, Camels can exchange their summer coat for a thick winter one for an extra layer of warmth. I could literally go on forever about how awesome camels are. I mean transparent third eyelids, prehensile lips, callous pads on their chest and feet to protect from the hot searing sand, projectile puke spit, voice talent worthy of Star Wars. But for now, I'll leave you with a message from the Wild Camel Protection Foundation. Despite their nuclear resistance, for wild camels, the threat of extinction is very real. The wild camel is critically endangered, and it's the eighth most endangered large mammal on the planet, so that makes it more endangered than panda or some type of tiger. So it really is 
on the edge of existence and it, it's a very important animal. It's the last of its kind. The wild camel is truly its own species, a species in its own right, and it's doing really badly. So we're trying now, the Wild Camel Protection Foundation, to learn more about the species and to be able to save it from extinction. To learn more about their research, head over to wildcamels.com. Thanks for watching Tusca Tales. If there's an animal you want us to feature, let us know in the comments below. Check out the rest of the series for more awesome animal adaptations, and I'll see you next time on Seeker.